Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff, this is Bottom 6 Customs, and well, we got some updates on this. So, if you're prepared to stick around for just a tad little bit of time, hit that subscribe button so you can follow, so you can follow along and listen to me ramble. We got a lot to catch up on. Okay, it's not that much, but still, nonetheless, let's go. Okay, so, yeah. spin this thing around and I needed two more dollies well instead of spending money I improvise plus I gotta tear this apart and do some work today So there's my beautiful little contraption. Four jack stand, subframe. Set in a perfect place to where I cannot get around it at all. So, that's gonna be great. Can't get my bike out unless I move a bunch of stuff. Great. So, let's get started because I kinda wanna see if I can take these control arms to with, with me to work tomorrow. We'll see if I get that far. Something you don't do. Ah, got one. That's my left nut. Don't judge me. No judgment. This is a judgment free zone. Ah, cool. Planet Fitness. Unrestored factory original. Ugh. Ugh. My toesies got wet. Everybody watch your eyes. I know I'm yelling, I got headphones in. Whee ha ha! See? That's why you wear safety. There's sway bar to take off of it. There is steering gearbox. Um, some other little brackets on both sides for the brake line. I plan to wire wheel this and clean it up and paint it. Um, and there's 
little brackets on the side. Both sides. Yeah, you gotta do all that, pitman arm, so on and so forth. I'm gonna work on that possibly this weekend. Might work on the floors on that. Not 100% sure. But we gotta get moving on this. I have bushings I'm gonna try to press into the control arms that are loaded in my truck right now. I don't have a press here. Gonna try that at work, see if they'll let me do it. They do great, if not, so be it. <clears throat> Next clip, now. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it, but probably not at all. But it's like a tornado of just snow and just snow everywhere. That's disappointing because summer's coming. It's almost springtime. So, I gotta figure it out. I have been working on the Camaro sub. While you guys were watching that clip, I was doing something. Bunch of holes here. I got a new hole puncher. And flanger, if you want to call it that. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. You take this, that end right there, and just as simple as that, punches a hole perfect. Perfect. Uh, you should be wearing eye protection because well, things went out. floor pan in driver's side that's the next move which I'm gonna bust out hopefully today schedule today get that done what do you guys think about that Pile of parts over there, or tools, I bet. Mm. All right, so, got some bad news for myself. Not so much for you, for me. Um, yes, mm-hmm. Gonna have to use that whole sheet. I'm gonna have to drill the holes for the seat. Yeah, all the funds. All the funds. The floor was bad here. If you can see that. I'll bring it in and I'll show you. Floor. Bad here. Like I said. It's heavily pitted. I thought, oh, okay. Uh, I was like, maybe I'll just take the center section out. And a wire wheel and a blue hole. So, it's going to go on one side. That side's pitted pretty bad too, so I was like, okay, I'll come all the way up to about here. I'm saying, I was like, okay, cool. I'll wire wheel everything and make everything all nice and smooth. And well, I was like, okay, small hole, I can patch that, no big deal. And then you can see down in there, that's my hand. And this is where your e brake cable goes in, right here. So. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not gonna fiddle fart around with trying to replace right here and then just a little spot up here and have all this like small patch panels. I'm gonna use the whole freaking thing. It's gonna be a little bit more work than I wanted to do. 
Um, but it is what it is. Uh, we got to get there. So, oh, let me get back to work. So that was a lot, probably dirty, mm -hmm. but floors are all cut out. Uh -uh. Now it's time to start fitting the new one. I know I'm going to have to basically cut off in here. Oh, so patch material. We'll save that. So when you're doing this, pay attention. I did not cut that. Thank God. This bracket here is for your e-brake. We're gonna have to reuse that and put that on. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. There's another bracket that I'm gonna try to reuse. It's for your brake lines. There's uh, something to hold it down. Um, any other brackets? Probably not. Obviously, I gotta trim a little off. I cut a little too much out back there, but I can make it work. I can patch it. And you'll never know once there's carpet on top. Alright, I'm gonna get this out. We're gonna cut it a little long. But I know right now I'm going to have to trim off here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to put it back in. So. Let's. Let's get to that. I'm procrastinating. There's still factory undercoating on most of this stuff. Like. When people look at this car, they'd probably be like, nope. When I said it had good bones, it had good bones. Good cross members, good frame. Front and rear. So, I, I, I gotta get to cutting. I gotta stop procrastinating. Let's go. Ta-da, pet material. Ah. Holy! Pretty dang close, I say. Okay, I'm gonna give the edge a tap. Four fifty. I don't think it did anything, but 
That's good. I'm gonna do a little bit more cut. I'm bringing back whenever it's fitting a little bit better. Sound good to you? Okay. Aww. Oh. Hold on. I gotta get a tape measure out. Uh oh. How am I gonna measure that one? Huh. Well, you don't say. Hmm. Measure with my eyeballs and. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Ooh. Time to get back to work. We ended yesterday on kind of, well, here, let me show you. Yeah, got, got it set into place. I got some, um, drawing a blank here. Self-tapping screws holding it in place. And a couple strategic places um, so I can mark it got the holes drilled for the seat use the self tapper to go up to the floor and basically mark them for me and well I don't know who's getting a hold of me but we got to get to work on it I gotta pull it out clean up the bottom side um, maybe do a little bit more trimming along the transmission or drive shaft tunnel. Uh, you gotta finish that up, do a little bit of trimming, and then clean all the spot welds off of those cross members and so on and so forth. So, while I'm doing that, enjoy the music and enjoy me doing it. Okay, let's go. Listen, before we get started, I'm gonna try some black rifle. <coughs> if I could wake up. Oh, crisp opening. Yep, I should have left that inside. It got left in my truck overnight. It's frozen solid. So, yep, and it ain't going to thaw out in here. It's, you can't see it, but I can. I can see my breath. It's cold in here. Not a, not. So, got a coat of welter primer on it. All my holes drilled all the way around. I know I don't got it everywhere, but I want it covering most of what I can't see once it's all welded together. And then I want to leave a little bit so I can get in there and add a little bit more strength and Give it a couple stitch welds and some other spots. That's what I did to the other side. That's what I did to the back panel. Uh, so, I'm going to let that tack up. Then I'm going to throw it in. So, man, it's cold in here. It's chilly. It that's a real chilly. Chilly for my liking. And I'm, I'm half tempted to call it. Because my little, my little niblets. I'm all out of detail and they're cold. So, yeah. Well, before I change you guys out on battery, like my wife's new boyfriend, battery operated, you guys are going to go dead and he might too. So, uh, but that's painted now. Inside of there 
inside of there it's been painted um yeah so mm -hmm. that sealed it and i did too wire wheeled it yeah the whole nine yards so come on tack up in or hurt me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no it's too cold it gonna take a minute so came in for a second my mom's making dinner mm. yum and dessert goulash baby and cinnamon toast crunch cake yeah you're jealous i know i think it's tacked up enough for right now Ugh. get her in i got a test fit on her What are you saying? It's a Lamborghini. Okay, sure, whatever. You do you, boo boo, you do you. Restore a car. It'll be fun, they said. Nope, no one ever said that. Floors in, spot welded, seam welded along there, so on and so forth. I got to finish up welding back here. Uh, not going to bore you with any more watching it, me do any more of that because it's repetitive. Tack weld, tap down or move a self tapper over a couple holes and put it in. But I'm going to do that real quick. And uh, I'm going to roll credits. Not really credits because, well, there are none. And with that being said, guys, this is, man, I messed that up. I messed it all up. Uh, either way, I'm getting hungry. And remember, it's your project. Do it your way. This is how I'm doing mine. I'm going to go eat dinner. Later, guys. Oh. You jiggle the key a bunch of times. Turn the wheel a bunch of times. <laughs>